If you've ever taken a screenshot with the tools built into your operating system or web browser, then you already know there are quite a few limitations. Thankfully, there are free screenshot programs to capture anything on your screen that are more feature-packed to help take your screenshots to the next level. In this top five, I'll count down the absolute best free screenshot software for your computer, all of which are available for Windows, along with a few coming up that can also be installed on Mac OS. Let's get started. Starting off our countdown at number five is Monosnap. With this program and the others coming up, unlike the screenshot tools built into many web browsers and browser extensions, you're not limited to just what is located inside your browser window. Monosnap is easy to use for beginners. It will let you capture your entire screen, a selected area, or any open window, and it's great for productivity with built-in editing and annotation tools. When you're done editing your screenshot, you have the choice to save it to your computer, share it on Facebook or Twitter, or upload it to Monosnap, Google Drive, Dropbox, and many others. To take a screenshot, you could click their logo in the lower right of the screen, or click the Monosnap icon in the notification area of your taskbar. Your choices are Capture Full Screen or Capture Area. Let's go with Capture Area. Just left click and drag the area you'd like to capture, and then let go. To capture an entire window, we'll close this one out, click the icon, select Capture Area, and simply just click inside the window. Below the screenshot, you'll find the annotation tools to mark up your image. Or if you have the GIMP image editor installed, here at the very top, click on the GIMP logo. Now you can edit your screenshot with more tools to choose from. Monosnap is completely free for non-commercial single users. It's available for Windows, Mac OS, and now has an extension for the Chrome web browser. Coming in at number four is Tiny Take. This is one I've mentioned before in our roundup of the best free video editing software. It's also quite useful for capturing anything on your screen for any situation. In addition to the various ways to take a screenshot, it includes a robust tool set and their built-in editor to enhance your image that can be shared with anyone you want. Unlike our number five pick, Tiny Take includes a graphical user interface and more ways to capture your screen. When you select Capture, your choices are Capture Region, Window, Full Screen, Image from Webcam, a Fixed Region, an Image from your Clipboard, or Create a New Image in their Editor. Tiny Take has a good set of tools to edit your images with various shapes, annotations, special effects, and you can change the colors and formatting. On their basic plan, it's free for personal use, but there is a limit of two gigabytes of storage on their servers. Otherwise, screenshots can be saved locally to your computer, or you could upgrade with plans starting at $29.95 per year. Tiny Take is available for both Windows and Mac. Up next, in at number three, is GreenShot. This open source program for several years was a favorite for many people when doing a screen capture. For those of you needing just a simple tool, it's still one of the best. To use GreenShot to do a screen grab, go to the system tray of your taskbar and click the GreenShot icon. You'll find the typical choices to capture a region, window, and a full screen. Let's do a quick one right now. After taking your screenshot, you have several options. You could save it to your computer, copy it to the clipboard, open it in a Microsoft Office program, or open it in the GreenShot Image Editor, which is what I'll do right now. Along the left, you'll find the tools to add shapes, text, and crop your image. If you ever need help using GreenShot, they have a handy help section on their site. It's available for both Windows and Mac. On Windows, it's completely free. Even though it hasn't been updated in the last few years, it still works great. On Mac, it's $1.99 in the App Store and still receives frequent updates. Real quickly, before we get to our top two, we'll now do our bonus picks of free screenshot programs that you might want to consider. First of which, Screenpresso is a lightweight program for Windows only with a ton of features to capture and edit your images. I highly recommend it for people with computers with outdated specs. It's free for both personal and commercial use with the basic features included. If you want additional features, there is a one-time fee of around $30 for the Pro Plan. And the other bonus pick from the makers of Camtasia and Snagit is TechSmith Capture. 
It's a replacement of their former screenshot program, Jing, which will soon be retired. It's currently being developed in phases, and so far it's pretty good. If you want to check out TechSmith Capture, it's completely free and available for both Windows and Mac OS. We're kicking things up a notch with our number two screenshot tool. PicPic for Windows only touts itself as the all-in-one design tool for everyone. And that's pretty much true, as long as you're a Windows user that wants more than what the built-in snipping tool or snip and sketch have to offer. There are nearly a dozen ways to capture your screen, including the ability to take a screenshot of an entire page using scrolling window. Also included is a color picker, a pixel ruler, protractor, magnifier, and a whiteboard. You'll notice when you first launch PicPic that it has a similar look to programs in the Microsoft Office suite. The layout is user-friendly, with the screen capture tools on the left, with the accessories on the right. Earlier, I mentioned scrolling window. While it does work, it's mind-numbingly slow when compared with our number one pick. Let's do a screenshot using the freehand tool to draw the area we'd like to capture of this gorgeous vehicle. Not so easy using the mouse. In the image editor, you get more of that Microsoft Office aesthetic with the familiar ribbon at the top with an excellent variety of tools. And if you go to the Share tab, you can upload to one of the services listed, like Dropbox and Google Drive, you can share it to one of the social networks, attach to an email message, or insert a copy to Microsoft Word, Excel, or PowerPoint. PicPic is free for personal home use. For professionals, there's a one-time fee of just $29.99 that lets you use it in a commercial environment. In the top spot, coming in at number one, is ShareX. Not only is it the absolute best screenshot utility, it's also completely free, open source, and light on system resources. Available for Windows 7 or newer, it's the most feature-packed of any free screen capture tool that you can get. For power users, it includes more than a dozen ways to capture your screen. To give away one of our tricks, one method we use quite a bit on this channel is the scrolling capture to give the illusion that we're scrolling down the page. After you have taken your screenshot, you can enhance it with their built-in editor with several tools to choose from. Then you can upload it to more than four dozen sites, including Google Photos, Twitter, Dropbox, OneDrive, Google Drive, and many others. If you're someone that uses keyboard shortcuts, when you launch ShareX, you'll see handy shortcuts in the main window that you can use. With so many choices, a lot of people have told me that they find ShareX intimidating and not easy to use, so I'll keep this simple. To do a screenshot, simply go to Capture and select the type of screenshot that you'd like to do. Then do your screenshot. As featured in our best free screen recorders video, you also have the option to record your screen. Once you become comfortable doing a screenshot with ShareX, here on the left, check out the numerous tools available. There's more than a dozen here. There's a color picker, a ruler, and a video converter. Let's now do a quick screenshot of allegedly the most evil and narcissistic human on our planet by going to Capture and selecting Region. Quite honestly, I'm not even sure that Jeff Bezos is human. He more looks like an alien life form. After doing your screenshot, you're at the top. You have more than a dozen tools to edit your image. Let's turn this one into a meme. When you're done, here at the top left, click the green checkmark icon. It will now appear here in the main window. When you right click the file name, you have several choices, including the ability to copy and upload your image. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. What is your favorite screenshot tool? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on our latest top fives and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.